little sweeties. A local program offers lessons and string group classes this summer. Joining me is Carrie Ingelson with Prairie Music and Arts String Program. Carrie, thank you so much for thank joining you for us. Me. This has a special place in my heart as my father played violin, and now his granddaughter, my niece, is playing violin, and she has taken to it. I cannot believe. I could, you know, you should never say never, but I don't think I could ever play as good as she is. And she's, you know, 10 going on 11. Well, it's an instrument that takes a lot of commitment, a mm -hmm. lot of years. Um, we offer programs that start very young um, mm -hmm. because it is an instrument that takes so long. Yeah, sure. Um, our program starts at age four and goes on up. Starts at four. Right. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Now, this summer you are offering both lessons and classes slash camp. How does that work? We have a little bit of everything. Again, we start at age four. Um, our new this summer is our string explorer class, which is beginning violin, and that's for pre K four to um, age six. Oh, that's great. Yeah, those classes are going to be on Wednesdays at 4.30. And it <laughs> must be so cute to watch. <laughs> Just so cute. They, they are very cute. They're very serious about learning, but oh, it's a great sure. time to capture that enthusiasm yes. and get them excited about learning an instrument. Oh, that is just so sweet. And it's now it's not just violin, correct? It's other string. This particular class is just mm -hmm. violin, but we also offer private lessons for viola, cello, and beginning string bass. We also have our chamber music camp this summer, which is the week of August 10th. That's for our advancing musicians um, for all of the string instruments. And that's a chance for them to experience making music together mm -hmm. yes. um, in a fun setting. Yeah, and it's also a no pressure setting as well that's what I like because I know my niece can be very self-conscious and so where she plays and who she plays in front of is a huge part of her experience and her comfort level and therefore her ability to learn the violin right we try to give the kids a lot of different kinds of environments mm -hmm. um, to work with their instrument so that it does help them overcome oh, sure. their fears um, and, about performing. And I learned this about Sarah too, just getting up in front of people, that's even helped her in other areas of her life to oh. come be a little more outgoing. Absolutely, it develops the child's self-confidence and poise, their ability to express. So all of those life skills they're learning through these classes and performances. Are lessons flexible? In, in terms the, of time? In the summer, they are. We do a, a flex scheduling option so parents can pick and choose the weeks that they're in town. So if a family has vacations, sure, yeah. they just don't sign up for those weeks. What about the camps? Um, the camp is going to be August 10th. We do evening camps oh. versus daytime camps. Cool. So it caters to the working family. Okay. The cha chamber camp is um, two hours in evening the week of August 10th. Well, thank you so much. You've given people enough time to, to learn about this and sign up. And also for kids, you, as you may know, you can rent, of course the uh, instruments because kids grow and so the instruments will need to grow with them. For more information, please go to NBC15.com and click on news links. Coming up after the break, Charlie has a final check of our forecast.